Celeste still here? Alright, we'll do the flying parts first. Oh, uh, what's up, Celeste? How's it going, bro? Broheim? Broski? Brohammer? Broseiden? I'm sorry that my streams are so awesome, and that I'm such an awesome person. Yeah, I, I do agree that time zones suck. Maybe you should just, uh... Maybe you should just move to America, and then time zones wouldn't fuck you as much. Just saying. I am shooting eggs up his nose to clear his nose. Don't ask me how that works, because it, I don't know. I really don't understand how that works. America! Fuck yeah. Alien breathing techniques. Sure. Oh, what the fuck? Really? You know, fuck you. I mean, you, you guys aren't... Okay. You, you should just take a page from Keith, who is actually in the same time zone as I am, and that you guys aren't obligated to watch any of my streams. You, you really aren't. You just aren't. Like, I... It's cool when you do, but I, I won't get pissed at you if you don't. Because why the fuck would I? No, god damn it. Wrong button. You gotta beat me at drinking? Well, that's actually a distinct possibility considering I'm not in college anymore. I would be doubtful if I was in sophomore year of college, because that was when I was at my prime as far as drinking goes. Um, but no, not so much. I am out of practice. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad that- no, 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 no. Actually, Solaz, you think you think I would be pissed at that? No, I'm not. I'm actually completely happy with that. I'm glad that you come here for your benefit and not for my benefit. Um, because if you came here for my benefit, I would feel that like this this whole effort is um, well. I don't know. This this whole effort is is somewhat pointless because. Yeah, you're helping me. Whereas, if you came here for your benefit, that means that I'm providing a service to you. Which is mean I'm being somewhat useful. I don't know. It's an Ayn Rand sort of argument. No, don't, don't go to my... Don't, no. No, please. I, I promise I won't commit suicide if you don't come to my stream. That, that would be retarded. Well, that would not serve me. Anyway, I'm, I'm collecting these notes, which does serve me. Give me that Who's the worst philosophers ever? <laughs> Name is that me? Is that, is that a joke against me? Is that your joke? Really? Oh, Rand, I see, Rand. Okay, I see. I actually don't think she's the worst philosopher ever. Um... Worst philosopher ever? That's, I mean, I don't know. Again, that depends on what your definition of good is. Good and bad. I don't think she's bad, actually. I disagree with her on several points, but I don't think she's bad. I think um, she has several valid, uh, 
several valid things to say about the human mind and human will that really matter. Anyway, I just passed my note score, so... So there. Several valid validities of validness, yes. <laughs> so you're saying, that by the fact that she is more reasonable than other philosophers, that she's more... Dangerous? I, dangerous to what? What, what could possibly be dangerous about expressing ideas? Uh -oh. No, 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 drop. Oh, this guy's funny. You like poop in his tray, and he gives you a fucking... Very true. But aren't mostly solid art blah 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 Aren't mostly solid Oh my god. Okay. Solid. Solid. S O L I D. What a bit 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 Mostly solid arguments are good, right? Cause they are mostly solid. I would I would think that they are good. God damn it. Fuck you, dude. I have 70 eggs. I'm just gonna spam them until... Until one of them lands in your basket. Because I'm bad at this. I would... Well... Mm, Rand... I mean... Really? How did that not land in there? There we go. Get your ass up there. Seriously? I need to give you more fucking eggs. I would say that Rand... Rand gives several points to which are valid and which are invalid. In my opinion. Again, it all depends on your assumptions. Like... According to my assumptions, there are um, there are several things that she which she says that are invalid, and several things that she says that are valid. Shouldn't I shouldn't I uh, respect the things that she says are valid, and at least give counter arguments to things that she says are invalid? Da hut, and we're drinking. Right, so I do. I do that. I... I mean, for fuck's sake, I am not the person... I mean, I voted for Obama. I'm not the person you think you would think would read Ayn Rand and respect her. Ayn Rand, whatever the fuck... I can't pronounce her name ever. But the point is, she states her argument, and some of her argument is valid, very clearly and specifically, and that's something to be respected. Well, obviously, I mean, I would argue that if you take any philosophy as dogma, that's damaging. But I would say that there are several points of her, her philosophy that... I, w I know several people who would do better if they, they took those points as assumptions. I don't know. Keen voted for Genghis Khan. God damn it. Such as what? Okay. So you gotta remind me of what I was talking about because I don't remember. <laughs> I think people would benefit from her idea that, um, owner, like, I don't know. 
I think people would benefit from our ideas of the human mind. I think that people would benefit from our ideas of the human will. Look, damn it, are you serious? I think if people would benefit from not fucking talking about Ayn Rand while they fucking play Banjo Kazooie, that's for sure. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, um, I think that people would benefit from her ideas about ownership and, um, well, maybe not ownership, but what is owed to one by society. Um, I think that people would benefit from that. I don't think that people would particularly benefit from ideas on altruism and helping people. Um, God damn it! But, again, this, these are all based on assumptions. Assumptions that I make that are different than hers. So, it's... I mean, it, at, at the point where you're arguing assumptions, it's like, what, I, I don't know. There, there's really no, yes, I win. No, I've had that a thousand years. Well done, mortal. You're damn right. And we're drinking. Oh, really? Well, I would encourage you to read Atlas Shrugged. I mean, even you are, if you are the most blatant liberal ever, which you aren't because you, you've told me that you're a libertarian, um, uh, it's still a very good book. And I, mean, I think that anyone with a rational mind could respect it. At least parts of it. Um, I mean, or you couldn't, I guess. I don't know. Bingo, leave. But her her positions on human will, human power, and human mind, she's very much a secular humanist. And um, I respect those positions, to be honest. Uh, psh. <laughs> no, anything anything by Ayn Rand is not public. I mean, I'm sure... I don't know. You can get it. I, I downloaded it for... I, I got it for free. Because at that point, I didn't... I didn't think that Ayn Rand deserved my money. Um, but, uh, yes, you can get it for free. Um, I don't think it's public domain at the moment. Mostly because the Ayn Rand Institute is in control over her works, and uh, they don't fucking care for, for anything public domain at all. <laughs> because they're objectivists. So... Oh, well, I, uh, Atlas Shrugged was published in, I believe it was 1954? So you have a while before it's actually public domain. Um, but I, I think that, I don't know, 1957. Oh, uh, well, then maybe it is public domain, but I haven't found it on, I haven't found any of her books on Project Gutenberg, so I'm, I'm not sure actually how that works. 